Hello, Exeter, and today we have Bob Lafreniere. Bob. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so um, you are going to be running the marathon, Boston Marathon again this year. Yes, sir. You have been, uh, are you uh, running technically or management of the Exeter Run Club? I'm just a low, an, an old member. <laughs> an old member. Yeah, I mean, I've been around the club for a while, but... Um, you know, I'm not on the board or anything like that. Okay. A triathlete. Is there anything else I'm missing? <laughs> well, not, not doing too much triathlete. Mostly running these days. Mostly running. Yeah. Mostly running. All right. So uh, what kind of, let's start off, all right. So let's start off with this whole uh, run club business. Uh, how you got involved. So um, when did you come to Exeter? And at what point did uh, the whole Exeter Run Club engage you? I, I came to Exeter it, roughly 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, changed jobs and uh, worked in Portsmouth and uh, didn't get involved in running at all. Uh, till probably 10 or 11 years ago and and you know was not not a runner as a younger guy or even in high school i i was on the track team but i was not a distance runner <laughs> i could do sprints <laughs> in other events but you know if if you told me to do a uh a 10 mile race, I would have said, not today. <laughs> um, so I've been around for a while and I got involved in the club because um, I was doing some sprint triathlons, short ones, and just wanted to do more running. And I did some running with the club and, you know, I, I got uh, talked into uh, doing a half marathon, I think, in. 2014 or 15 probably and you know that was the beginning of the end for uh, getting into distance running and um, like a lot of other people in the club you you do one distance run and then it's another you want to do the next one or the next longer one or <laughs> you know the next more challenging uh, thing so the snowball effect bring it on yeah yeah no no doubt I mean I always I always say to everybody that uh, you know if if you go from zero to 60 uh, you're you're gonna be sucked then <laughs> yeah. I've talked I've talked at least a half a dozen people into doing their first first marathons and they have all finished exciting so, um, you know, 30 years ago, you come here, you start getting involved at this club. So I heard that, and this could be a rumor, um, I heard that the Run Club is one of those clubs that takes all types and um, is, uh, it's got its own support system. Like it lets everyone, uh, you know, regardless of where you're at and you're running, either if it's your first day or your uh, 30th year doing it, um, everybody runs runs together. You got a running buddy. People are in support, helping each other out. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, that's one of the things that I think is really special about the club. Is that I always say it's it's inclusive and supportive, and and you know we get. On a Sunday morning, you know, which is the, you know, the, the bigger run of the week usually. There's a whole bunch of different runs now. But on a Sunday morning, we might get five people coming out or 25 people coming out. And, you know, when you get 25, you might have three or four that are going to walk. 
and they're going to walk three miles, and you might have, you know, three or four people that are going to run 20 miles, right? And and everything in between. And and uh, I always say, no runner or walker left behind. Like we don't let people go out on their own and get lost or or whatever. So there's. There's definitely that uh, element of, you know, we're all in it together, no doubt. And, and uh, you know, if people are, like I just said, if people are training for a marathon, there's always somebody that's, even if they're not doing a marathon, they're going to do some of those long runs with them. And, um, you know, and, and if, if you're training for, you know, a 5K, there's, there's always somebody that wants to do some faster training and you know you always have a buddy and I can tell you for me personally and I think a lot of people doing it alone is infinitely harder training wise than doing it with a group of people I mean you get out there and you're talking and you don't even realize that your leg is a little sore <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like, oh, that leg doesn't feel too bad anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's it's uh, it's uh, inclusive and supportive. Great group of people. Nice, nice. So, uh, have you seen that with um, kind of extra as a town hall as well? Like people are in support of their runners. Um, people are a little open as well to this. Yeah, I I mean. We, we run out at the bandstand on a Sunday morning and, and you know, we'll all say hi to everybody that goes by and, and uh, you know, it, it, it seems like, uh, you know, the club is, uh, you know, well liked in town. I mean, we do a thanks for giving race every year and lots of people come out for that and it's a very family oriented event and, and, and it, uh, it's great fun. You have to come and run with us this year. <laughs> <laughs> Do an Exeter special. Be going along with the running club. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Bring bring the cameras and you know. Yeah. We'll okay. run, run out to the beach and back like the original run club run. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of run. <laughs> yeah, it's only about 18 miles. <laughs> that's a that's a good distance. <laughs> Yeah, and so you've also probably seen running grow a lot in the seacoast too, running you know, the entire sport. Because um, my memory might be a little fuzzy because I was a youngin, but uh, it used to just be there was just a handful of road races every year, and then you know the marathon was for all the big top dog runners. Um, but you've probably seen it grow. You now we're seeing like what hundred mile races pop up and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's um, you know it's not a hobby anymore. For, you know, in a lot of places. Um, you know, when I was back in the day, when I was in high school in the '70s, I mean, there were runners, but like nowadays, it's you know, lots of people are running, and and it's a good thing, and and uh, you know. Uh, Marathons back in the 70s, you, you probably couldn't find somebody that's run a marathon, right? But nowadays it's, you know, like, I mean, we can, we can probably show you a dozen or more at least that, that have run a marathon in the last year in just our little run club. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not rare for people to be uh, regular runners anymore. I think it's a lot more common than it used to be. And, you know, we, we runners don't like the term jogger. <laughs> I mean, when COVID started, there was a sign out front here that said, you know, walkers and joggers should be wearing a mask. And, and I, I took offense at the term jogger. <laughs> yeah. Um. So is there any like uh, races or um, charities or anything that the, that the run club has been involved in? 
Yeah, I mean, we, like I said, we do the thanks for giving race. And it, it, it's, uh, you know, it's on Thanksgiving morning and it's well attended. We get kids coming out and families coming out and, uh, you know, and it's, it's less about the race than about, you know, a social event and getting a little exercise before you go home and eat the turkey, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so or making the appetite a little bigger for more turkey. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, it's a, it's a fundraiser. And, you know, I don't want to quote the numbers because I don't know them, but, you know, we raise a pretty good amount of money for, for charities. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, that's, uh, I think, something, you know, the club members are proud of. And, you know, we also will regularly get a group of runners to volunteer at other races. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, we've, we did the uh, Great Bay Half just last weekend. And, you know, we had about 10 club members out there passing out water and, and doing that kind of stuff. So it's, it's, uh, it's not just about running, it's about social, you know, and, and uh, you know, if you can hang out with good people and do good things, that's uh, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day start the Exeter Marathon, half marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think you want. Uh, <laughs> it would it would be interesting. We should connect it up with the Criterium, right, on the bike, and then we'll we'll swim in the river and we'll swim the river. Make it a triathlon, right? Yeah. Maybe you do like the alewife trap one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be, it would be an interesting name and people are, what's an alewife, right? <laughs> Unless you live here. Yeah. I think one of the unique staples of Exeter, everybody knows what the alewife is if you're from Exeter. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. So, Bob, is there um, anything else you'd like to share before going? I think our time's just about near, near its end. Well, I, uh, like I think I've already said, it's, it's a great group of people. And, um, you know, if you want to get some exercise and you want to walk, you know, jog <laughs> or run, it's, it's a great group of people to get involved in. And, and I would say to people, come on out and... Uh, you know, we have a uh, Facebook page that's got, I don't know how many hundreds of people on it. Um, and I always say, you know, don't just go on the Facebook page. Come on out and run with us. And, and you know, we've got runs organized, I think, almost every day of the week. There's some sort of an organized run going on um, that you can see on the Facebook page. So you know, come on out is what I would say. I mean, I will, I will routinely run around town and if I see a runner, I'll try to recruit them to the running club. <laughs> I might run next to them and say, get the lasso oh, out, come, come on, on out on Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's a great group of people and uh, you know, I, like, like I said, it's a lot easier to do that one mile run or five mile run or 26.2 mile run with friends than it is to do it by yourself. That's, uh, that's a fact. I mean, certainly for me. Yeah. All right, thank you, Bob. Thank you, Garrett. And you heard it, Exeter. If you are interested in being in the spotlight, feel free to contact us at extvg at exeternh.gov. Thank you and have a great day.